I'm past due in pointing out my shirt. The Pass Beer Company in Crow's Nest Pass has opened. Oh, we had their pizza today and I got a t-shirt. It's awesome. You. Yeah. yeah. All right, welcome back. Episode 13, season two, Quarantine Cocktails, back with the bourbon and introducing something that never used in a cocktail. No. I don't even really know exactly what it does, but we're actually gonna be using bitters for the first time in Quarantine Cocktails because today we are making a- Classic Old Fashioned. Classic Old Fashioned. Uh, so you wanna start with uh, one teaspoon of water and then you want a half a teaspoon of sugar. So you already got water in the glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some sugar. And then you want three dashes of- Bitters. Of the bitters. There we go. Lovely. It says, and then you wanna stir until the sugar is nearly dissolved. Okay. Hmm. So I've probably been stirring for 20 seconds or better, and then the sugar isn't really dissolving a whole hell of a lot, so that's probably good enough. It's probably three quarters bit. dissolved at this point. Yeah, so uh, from there you want to fill the glass with large ice cubes, and then you add your bourbon. In this case, we want two ounces. The recipe I'm reading says that ideally if you're making old fashioned, you should never use a cheap bourbon, like maybe Jim Beam. Well, we could have got a fancier bourbon, but we didn't know but we didn't know. My understanding is an old fashioned is sort of supposed to be one of the ways that you can show off the quality of a bourbon. So if you have a really oh, nice okay. one, it's sort of a way to, to emphasize that, but we got Jim Beam. Whatever. Use Jim Beam. Do you stir it a little bit once you put the booze in? Yes, exactly right. Just to get the flavors incorporated a little bit. There we go. Okay, do her. And then the last thing you want to do is express the oil of an orange peel over the glass and then drop it in. I don't know what that means. It means this. Oh, okay. Basically. You just want the Juice oils up. of the peel. Okay. And then just chug it in, right? Yeah, exactly right. So let's just give her a go. I don't think this is a straw type of drink. No, this is absolutely just a straight to appreciate your bourbon. What do you think? Tell it would be better. With a better bourbon? With a better bourbon. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I could get that. Like it basically tastes like just straight whiskey on the rocks, but with just that little bit of something extra from yeah. the bitters, a little bit yeah. something extra from that citrus. As it is, I actually think this also improves the Jim Beam. Oh, definitely. Like it definitely. makes it less of a belly wash Most and definitely. more of a, a cocktail, I would say. But it would definitely be better with legitimate, you know, top shelf yeah. bourbon. Now, what do you think about using bitters? Because I've never actually used them before. I don't really know what bitters are. When I put it in the glass with the water and the sugar, the aroma of the bitters mm -hmm. it was like, oh, this is going to be good. Mm -hmm. like the, the bitters themselves smell really good. I don't know if you have another cocktail coming up that incorporates, includes the bitters. It'll be interesting to see what it's like with um, something different. Yeah, because I think in the case of this, all it does is it sort of brings out the flavor that's already there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like this. I, and I suspect you do because you're very much a Rye on the Rocks kind of guy. Yeah. Again, it would be better with a better bourbon. Yeah. Which maybe if we got some sponsorship for a season three, huh? We'll just wait for next payout from the government. It's no big deal. <laughs> Quarantine cocktails. Bourbon. Old fashioned. Okay, so after doing the bourbon, old fashioned, thought that let's try it with uh, an actual good, high quality whiskey. Yeah. So we're gonna try it here with this 21 year old whiskey. Yes, which we actually haven't tried now. I haven't had at all. This was a wedding gift. It's really, we've been like holding on to it. This caliber of booze is what you're supposed to be using for something like this. And usually I would have that age of whiskey, whether it be Gibson's or Logan's or something, I would have, you know, a good 12 to 20 year old whiskey in yeah. house. But this is all I got right now, which is whiskey old enough to drink whiskey anywhere in North America. Beautiful. So again, we've got our 
tablespoon of water, half tablespoon of sugar already. One, two, three. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be good. All right. Again, nice. Oops. Whiskey. I wasted so much. Oh no. <gasps> he spilled. And the expensive stuff too. If I'd actually bought this, I'd be more upset. Yeah. <laughs> but because it was a present. It was other people's money. Yeah, yeah mine. That's fine. So stir. And then the one other decent orange peel that I had. <laughs> Whiskey old fashioned with a 21 year old Canadian rye whiskey. And? Is that good? That's smooth. That is smooth. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's oh, magic. That's, that's what old fashioned is supposed to be like. Yeah. No offense to Ginny over there. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're passable. But this. That is the magic, definitely. Just from this This noise. old fashioned could drink an old fashioned. <laughs> That's how fucking old it is. <laughs> Including the bitters, because there was so much dust on the bottle when I bought the bitters. <laughs> this yeah. is damn good, this Fra is mine. From, <laughs> from this experiment alone, I would say it's absolutely true what we were reading. A it's better, it's better with the better bourbon. Better with the better bourbon. God damn, 21 year old whiskey, old fashioned. This, honestly, this is probably the classiest of the cocktail that I made. Oh, yeah. This one. Yeah. Quarantine cocktails.